Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. I actually just finished my last client before I move and now I can pack up the majority of my studio and I kind of wanted to take you around my studio. <laughs> This is the last time we are all going to see this. It, it, it's a little bittersweet. This is my happy space. I think I've really grown in this space, just inside, em emotionally, and met a lot of wonderful ladies just from doing my YouTube videos from this space. So it is a little bittersweet. Let's take a look around. I am sorry about the lighting. All my lighting is packed up. So this is what you get. This is, I just sort of cleaned up a bit after my client and... I love this. One last look. It is a little messy back here, but I am sort of packing all that crap up. are here we are at my new studio I am super excited to share with you what's behind this door right here and I just want to say thank you so much for your love and support and your patience during this time I have been off of YouTube a little bit longer than I wanted to but that's okay I think I think I needed the break but I'm super excited to show you what's behind this door I did post an insta story of my studio and uh, a picture of the finished product, but I want to show you inside and kind of just go through detail by detail of what's going on in my studio. I did not expect it to look like it did. I did have a vision for my vision gel that turned out exactly how I wanted it, but I, I'm just super happy with the results of my studio and I know I'm going to be tweaking it here and there. I didn't put up everything because I actually looked back at pictures of my old studio and I, it just felt really cluttered. And I think in, in this phase, in my life I don't want to clutter so I kind of just put out what I needed what I wanted and we'll just go from there so let's take a look at what's behind the door <laughs> I'm so excited and here it is I'll just do a quick pan so you walk in and this is what you will see I love how bright it is The, the color of the walls are similar to my old place, but lighter. And I just think that, well, obviously a brighter paint on the walls makes your space look bigger, I think. And I, I just don't know where to start. <laughs> we'll just start here. These are two closets that I have my dressers in. Oh, I might as well show you. It's, I gotta make sure that nothing falls out. <laughs> so it's not that organized in here, but this is that one dresser I had. So I put stock 
supplies in here. And this I thought was really cool. This is the washroom. And this is just another closet that I shoved another dresser in, some Christmas stuff, just more storage. I just didn't, I didn't want, I didn't have the room for these dressers and I just think that everything just looks so clean. And I am just absolutely in, oh, this does look clean and fresh and calm and relaxing like you guys have all said. So let's just start in this corner here. This is my shelving rack I got from Ikea. And of course my Glamour Liz hands that I can't wait to start using and doing more videos with these hands. I've had requests of that. So my clear jelly stamper polishes. I just have a couple of certificates up for now. I got these lights at Michael's. This candle I love, it's like a pearl candle. I've showed that to you guys before and I think I got that at Winners. And these are my new business cards. Oh, I love these. Yes, I am a Swarovski certified nail artist now. And this is my latest certificate I received. That was such an awesome class. I really, I actually really enjoyed the history of Swarovski and how it started. And of course, Chantelle Joy was the instructor and she was amazing. So, lamp, I've mentioned this before, I got from Walmart. This is just an, another little plaque. I wonder if you can even see that. It just says that I'm a Swarovski certified nail artist. And then my nail tip books that I've featured. Some I got from Canada Nail Supply, some from AliExpress. And then these two drawer units I got from Michaels. And I just keep my files in here, or buffers up here. Files down here, and I actually use this drawer a lot, just stuff, odds and ends. This is where I keep my, some tools, <laughs> and uh, my label maker. You guys have been asking what label maker do I use? So this is it, it's just a, what is it, a brother? Yeah, love this little guy. And then down here is some empty containers, some, what is it, mini mini moo, stamping polishes, and caption. This is fun. I <laughs> and then in here, which is a little bit of a mess, I am going to be reviewing these. These are pigments from visiongel.com, so in the States. And you can get these from Renee, and I will show you how to use these. And then these are just kind of my pigments and my, my art. And we have a visitor. In this drawer, I keep my Swarovski crystals, some embellishments. That's what they're called, right? Embellishments. Crystal pixies, caviar beads, my shticket, and also I keep this here. This is the crystal picker up. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so out of practice with doing these videos. And then I have some pigments and glitters in here. I got all of these from Michaels and some more glitter. I got these from Michaels. Some of them are reflections, some of them are Martha Stewart. Transfer foils, just more art stuff. And what's down here? Oh, I actually packed all of this. Oh my gosh, those poor movers. I should have just thrown these out. Nail polishes that I never ever use. Holy crap, Carrie. <laughs> okay, and this is my, what I call my vision wall. This is all my vision gel, and I absolutely love this wall. So, all of these are the regular gel polishes. And I will just kind of give you a, a view, close up of what these colors look like, because some of these I have not shown you just with so many colors and I, I don't know you guys some of them I have shown you so I actually don't know what's what with these regular gel polishes what I've shown you what I haven't yet I'll get there I'll get organized so yeah these again are all the regular gel polishes which I just call the regular line 
okay and these are the glass gel polishes I haven't shown these to you yet but I will these are the Lux gel polishes I have my video done I just have to edit it for you guys which will be up after this one and then this I also have a video on these ones which is the I think these are the yeah these are the V series V is in Victor this is the N series I do have a video on these done up I just have to edit it for you guys and then these are the laser diamond gels. So all of these here that don't have the butterflies on them, I got in just before I moved and I just put them up. So these are the diamond gels, which I will show you. I will do a video on that. Then there's some, what are these ones? Oh, the chameleon gel polishes, you guys. I actually used this on a client, one of them. I told her to pick one and she picked a really nice fall color. So there are 10 of those. I will do a video on those for you. These are the nude cat eye gel polishes. I will be doing a video on those. These here are the regular gel polishes that I just got in. If you wanna see a review on these or the colors of these ones, I can do that for you. So just comment down below and let me know. And then these ones here are the ice, glass iced glass gel polishes they are super pretty I just took a peek at each one of them so there's 12 of those I will do a separate video on those and then these ones are the glass cat eye gel polishes which I will also do a video on for you guys, okay? So I have it organized that all the bottles that don't have butterflies on them are the, the products I want to show you. This is my Alex drawer unit from Ikea. Again, another lamp from Michaels. I got this at Modern Beauty Supply here in town. And you can put, I had bit cleaner in here. I also had, uh, I guess you could use it for barbicide if you want. This hand I got at Michael's. You've seen this before. And these are my appointment cards. So I just put the appointment on the back and it's got my logo right on here. So here's the back side of my desk where I sit. And I only put one desk light up. I've got a little bit more natural light in my studio now. So I'm gonna see how this works. I am interested in the daylight lamps. So I have my Light Elegance Zippy e-file. I decided to use this one. My Erica MT20 is still in the box. I put it in the closet for now. I like that this is portable and I find, well, I've only done one set of nails in this studio, but I, I just really like the portability of, of the Zippy. It's lighter, it's a little bit more powerful and I quite enjoy it. And then my bits, I keep the bits that I use during the service. This bit holder I did get from Vision Gel. And then this holder here I got at Michael's. I cannot find them at Michael's anymore, so. I apologize for that, but I just keep two types of forms in here and tools and implements that I use. Hand sanitizer, my Sun One lamp that I got off of AliExpress. I am loving this lamp. And then of course these armrests that you guys have liked in my AliExpress haul. My other lamp, and then this little tray, whatever this is. I got at HomeSense and then I keep my, just all the liquids that I use on a daily basis during a service. This I also got at HomeSense and I keep my wipes in. Oh yeah, my chair. I've shown you my chair before, but we're just gonna show you again. I keep my apron on the back. I got this at HomeSense. I just love it. And then my T2 dust collector from Nova Flare that I got from Glam Up Nails and Paul. And he also custom made my de desktop, which I am still super in love with. And no, I'm not getting on the floor with this one, you guys. I'll put a card up here and you guys can check out that video of what it looks like underneath. <laughs> So this is an Alex drawer unit here. I keep all my brushes here. I just got these containers from Dollarama. So that's all my brushes. What do I, these are my gel brushes that I use for if I'm using a builder gel. These are my art brushes, my acrylic brushes, 
and some odds and ends brushes. <laughs> what else do I have here? Okay, so this drawer I usually keep open all the time because I have my bottled builder here. I basically just use this tray right here along with my Acra gel. In this drawer I have, you guys have seen this before, these are my files that I keep here. I have fine arbor bands and then the medium zebra arbor bands and then the fine arbor bands that I got off of AliExpress. Micro swabs. I keep my ceramic tiles right here. I also put like a drawer liner on the bottom of this and then that way it doesn't slide around or it won't scratch. The ceramic part won't scratch my desk. So it works quite nicely. And then in this drawer I have my gloves and all my tips, art tips, and swatch sticks. I, I kind of kept everything pretty much the same as in my previous studio. You will see my policy plaque and then just some pictures. I got these pictures at Winners or HomeSense. And then my salt lamp I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. I love this. It's just a white salt lamp and I find it so, so comforting. And then some candle holders. I. You guys have seen this before from Winners. And then these mirrored plates I got at Dollarama. The candles and the candle holders my daughter got me for Christmas. I think she got it from Ikea. And then just some towels and a silk plant. And I think I got this black stand from Canadian Tire. And then over in this corner I have one of my end tables that won't fit in my living room because my couch is so big. So I put it in here with my computer and you know Netflix will play or music and then a silk tree. So my chair, you guys have seen this before. I love my chair. I got it HomeSense, pillow, I got it Walmart, and I think that is it. So I just wanted to take a little bit of time to say thank you so much to each and every one of you who have sent me messages on YouTube, on Instagram, telling me you missed me, you can't wait for more videos. I really, really appreciate it. They kept me going. This move really kicked my butt. I missed nails so much. I didn't realize how much I missed nails. I needed the break, but I'm really happy to be back. I am going to try to go back to my regular schedule of Sunday morning videos. I just don't know quite when that will start, if it will continue after this one or if it's going to take a couple of weeks. I do have quite a few videos already, what do you call it, I guess you don't call that recorded do you, taped, <laughs> God, is that it? the 80s or what, uh, filmed, filmed. <laughs> Here I go. I do have a few videos filmed. I want to get those edited and uploaded for you guys. If I miss a Sunday, you know, a video might come up on Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. So just please be patient until I can get back into a regular routine. I've missed you guys. Again, I can't thank you enough for being there for me, for the, for the love and support. It means everything to me, everything. So that is it. If you have any questions, comment down below. I will do my best to answer them. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Elite Nails by Carrie. If you've sent me a message on Instagram and I haven't answered you, it's because I forget. I'm not familiar with how Instagram works from start to finish. So if you've sent me a message on Instagram, I'll find it. It might be a couple days before I respond or I think I saw one that was two weeks ago and I'm like, oh gosh. <laughs> so I apologize for that. So that is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more product reviews with Vision Gel. Stay tuned for some tutorials. I will be using my Glamour Liz hand. You guys have been asking for more videos using my Glamour Liz hand. So I will be doing that. Lots of content coming up and that is it. We will see you in the next video and I love you all. <laughs>